Hello, and welcome back to Here We Tow. Today, I'm going to be reviewing this. It's the Coachman Laser 575, and we're here at Salop Leisure, who've kindly allowed us to film today. I will be taking all COVID measures, hence I'm wearing a mask. So let's crack on. What do we need to know about the Coachman Laser 575 XL? Well, first of all, as the name may give away, XL stands for the fact that it is eight feet wide. This is a four berth caravan and it's on a single axle. So if you're interested in an eight foot wide caravan, but you don't want the additional length or the twin axle, this may well be for you. The laser is the top end of the coachman specifications and the 575 comes with a transverse island bed. Let's talk first of all about some weights and measures and then we'll have a look around. Obviously it's eight feet wide, it's 7.4 meters in length and it has an MTPLM of 1734 kilograms so it's fairly heavy. It will give you a payload of 155 kilograms and you can upplate it to 1800 kilograms which will give you even more payload. We see it's on the Alco chassis, we've got the Alco hitch and that hitch will take 100 kilograms on the nose. So starting at the front we do have ATC and we've got the two front lockers. This side we've got our gas and then we've got storage on the other side. We've got the Coachman three windows which are wider because of the eight feet and then we've got the sunroof above. We'll come down this near side. So on the near side, we're finding we've got a whale external gas point for barbecuing. We've also got our electric socket here. We've got our box, the one piece door, not a stable door, but we do have a window here. We've got the vents for the Dometic fridge and freezer. So that obviously suggests that we're going to find the kitchen here on the near side. We get 15 inch alloy wheels on the laser and back here we've got a box that's going to give us access to storage under the island bed. We'll venture around the back next and have a look at the coachman's rear end. On the back end of the laser 575 we see the XL badge that obviously lets people know you've got an eight foot van. We've got the coachman logo here it's the new one for 2021 We've got our lights and we've got a LED brake light up ahead here. So that is the rear end of the coachman. We'll just have a quick look around the offside before we go in. So on the offside of the 575, we've got here our whale water pump. And there's also a direct feed here if you wish to do so on a service pitch. We've got here another locker and then we have the windows going down on the offside and right at the back we can see the toilet cassette and the external flush filler so that's obviously suggesting we're going to find the rear bathroom there. That's the exterior of the laser I do like the appearance it's got the silver sides that I like and I do like the decals in the gold colour and the slight green tinge here. Let's venture in and have a look to see how much difference that eight foot width is going to make. So on going into the Laser XL 575, we have an LED light above the door. And then as I say, we have the one piece door. We do find a blind here over the window and we do find a fitted bin as well. So we'll venture in and have a closer look. The lounge area of the XL575 is a generous width as you'd expect. We've got two sofas which are five feet in length and they're a very good depth due to the width of this caravan. On an evening you can use this as part of your four berths either to sleep as singles but obviously only at five feet in length or this will convert into one large bed which will be seven feet two inches by five feet. In terms of the upholstery We've got grey and silver curtains and some nice concertina blinds. There's also fly screens all around. At the front, we've got the three coachman windows and a nice sunroof to let in plenty of light. There's also additional lighting dotted around in the lounge area 
and there's light switches up ahead. In terms of technology, the coachman has a fast charge point up here and we've got a Pioneer system fitted if you wish to listen to music. There's the pull-out table and drawer here up front for if you're eating a meal for two or snacks. And if there's more of you, there is a large table that you can fit here to dine on. That summarises the lounge area. So what we'll do next is head into the kitchen and take a closer look at that. The kitchen on the 575XL is over on the off side. And we can see we've got this huge worktop space. And again, that's due to the fact that this is such a wide caravan. We've got the sink with the cover and we've got a lovely tap. That's also standard in the VIP as well. I do like that tap. On the side here, we've got two plug sockets for kettles, toasters or coffee machines. And up above, we've got storage as well. It's interesting to see that in this caravan, we've got almost a wood effect in the lounge area but then a gloss on the cupboards here in the kitchen. And this is where you're likely to obviously keep your plates and bowls and what have you. Also up here, we find the Russell Hobbs microwave and below it is the Thetford oven and grill and hob. The only thing I'd say is if you're using the microwave and the hob, do be careful. The hob, we benefit from three gas burners and we've also got the electric as well. So it's going to be great whether you're on electric hookup or whether you're off gridding and using gas. Below that, we then have the grill and the oven and they're at a good height as well, not too low to the floor, which I always like. We have three drawers under the sink. This is where we're going to be able to keep our cutlery and other bits like that. Under the worktop space, we're going to find a fantastic storage compartment. And as you can see, we've got, slide that out carefully. We've got shelves here where we could keep tins, cereals, packets, things like that. And that goes underneath as well. So that is a fantastic storage unit that Coachman have included within the kitchen. On the other side of the kitchen, on the near side, we're going to find the fridge and freezer. Now this is a large tower, uh, a large tower Dometic fridge and freezer. I'll open that up and as we can see, we've got shelving in the door. We've got a good sized freezer compartment there as well. And then down below, we've got our salad or vegetable tray as well. So a good size. Uh, Dometic fridge and freezer and it is the one that will open on both sides which I know has become increasingly popular. Also on this near side this is where we're going to find the place for our television we've got a pre-installed bracket here so you can put your television here we're going to find USB sockets we've got a plug socket a 12 volt and the aerial so this will be where you keep your television. Underneath here, we're going to find the table for the dining area. And it's worth mentioning that just above the door is where we're going to find the coachman control panel and the Alda wet central heating system. The Alda system is across all models of the coachman's. That includes Arcadia, VIP and Laser. So that's this living space area. What I'm going to do now is head back into the bedroom and we can already see that the island bed is here. So let's go back and take a closer look at our bedroom space. So the bedroom of the 575XL, we have the island bed, which is situated on the near side wall. It does retract for daytime use or you can extend it then on a night to sleep. This bed is six foot two in length and I believe it's four foot six in width. So it's a good size bed, but one to be aware of if you are a tall person. We also have this nice fabric headboard on both sides. We've got two wardrobes, as you can see, one on each side. Good amount of space in there. We've got some overhead storage. There's three cupboards. And the colour scheme of these is the same as we find in the lounge. So we've returned to this 
wood grain effect. Under these to illuminate the bedroom, we find two lights and we do have USB chargers and you have one each here. So you can both charge your gadgets and place them up in here when charging them on an evening. There's also a shelf on both sides. So you can put cups of tea there on a morning or store your phones on there. And then there's a small storage compartment underneath each wardrobe as well. To separate the lounge from this bedroom space, there is a screen that pulls across, a privacy screen, uh, and is magnetically closed on that side there. There is a television point in the bedroom for if you want to watch television in bed, and you'll be able to place that just over there on a stand. We've got their plug socket, a 12 volt plug, and also an aerial. So you can make this a nice space on an evening for settling down. What we'll do next is we'll head through into the bathroom washroom, which is accessed through this sliding door. So let's go and have a look at the bathroom. So we start in the far corner with cupboard space, and that then leads us down to the glazed window and the Thetford swivel toilet. Next to the swivel toilet, we see the white heated towel rail, and that's part of the Alder wet central heating system. In the centre of the washroom, there's a large mirror and underneath we've got a nice wash basin, tap like we saw in the kitchen, two cupboards underneath. We also have a toothbrush holder and a toilet roll holder as well. So we'll be able to keep all our toiletries together in this bathroom space. We find we have a vent in the roof, obviously for ventilation. We've got a towel holder and there's also somewhere to hang dressing gowns or towels as well. As we come round to the shower cubicle now, this is an excellent size cubicle. It has a nice screen. In there, the shelves for keeping your shower gels or shampoos. And this is a very good space for showering indeed, especially at the moment with restrictions and facilities closed. So there we have it. That's the Coachman Laser 575XL an eight foot wide single axle caravan with a transverse island bed. The price for this top of the range coachman is £31,500. If it's one you're considering looking at, then you can always visit a local dealership and take a closer look yourself. Just like to say thank you for Salop for letting us film this today. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.